Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. And your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome y'all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. Now today, what I want to do for you is just to simply show you how to fry a fish how to get your fish properly fried off crispy and firm here we go right over here have i just say i have and i'm not gonna say the amount this is just a certain amount of oil this is not and this process is not gonna be i'm gonna hit up my flame to medium yes medium flame for the camera medium flame from start to finish frying a fish is not a, a rush process and you don't fry it on high i eat no medium it's not deep fat frying it's like shallow fat frying a little more oil than shallow fat just follow so right here i have this fish here and remember there are certain fish you know you have some fishes that they are just not for frying. They are soft. You have got to, you've got to know how to choose. So I have two pegs of garlic. Smash them. And I'm going to put them in the oil right here. Because I do want the garlic to infuse the oil. I'm on medium heat. Okay? We're not gonna let it burn, we're just gonna let it fry and infuse the oil. Now, I have here a fish that has been cleaned and washed. So the first thing you need to do, this fish must be properly dried from the inside out. Dry fish, nothing wet. Mm-hmm. So, you're gonna get your fish now on top of your your board yes and you're gonna wanna dress this fish you're gonna wanna fix up that fish here dress him up or dress her up make them make sure look really good so you wanna take off these fins a fin camera girl yeah you might want to dress up these little parts here a bit mm-hmm want to make sure you don't have any scale hmm? you want to dress up these little parts a bit this is called dressing the fish take up these not all you want to knit the tail so you want to put like some little slant cores not all the way down just halfway look at what I'm doing not all the way down right in camera girl just on each side if it's smaller then you'd give just one if it's larger you'd have to probably have to give another one and you got to be riding and whistling right over here yes our garlic has been properly fried off so this oil now is infused with garlic yes it's garlic infused oil and we can just drop the flame down a bit. You want the oil to be really hot, but at the same time, not on a high temperature, just medium. You're gonna to want to season this fish with just salt and a little refined black pepper. Yes, just that, y'all. So you're gonna go, but be careful. You're gonna open the fish. In all these little places. And you're gonna gently remember it has bones okay y'all so gently you mix a little salt and black pepper and rub it together so you're gonna gently massage in this don't have to leave to marinate or anything at all this is fish it has its own flavor so you don't need to be putting all a lot of powdered seasoning all of that no you're gonna gently put it into this oil and you're gonna see 
the oil is hot as you can see but this is medium flame and that is how it's gonna look now let me get my hands a little one rinse it's not washed here now that it's on this here this is medium flame you will need to fry this fish from this on one side and i cannot say five minutes four minutes i'll show you you will need to fry it until the fish is firm properly brown fried crispy and nice but not burnt on one side gently turning to the other side and be careful because it will pop it does pop but be careful you so gently turning from one side to another so we are going to fry this fish on one side and when it is properly fried on the other side we'll show you how you turn it to the other and what it must or what it will look like okay now one part of this fish should be properly fried off you want to try to flip it from one side to another so you'll need something of this nature an egg lifter a spatula whatever but something of this, na this nature i'm sorry preferably a metal one which is firm okay some of the plastic ones tend, tend to be real flimsy so this is what you want to do you want to push your spatula under this fish and you want to gently flip Now, get right in camera, girl. Now, this is crispy, really crispy. And as you can see, it's fried, it's not burnt. Yes? And the slots that we have made here, they have been opened up. And the oil, is in, it's been, in, it, the fish has been infused with all this oil. Now that one side is fried off, and the heat is still on, you're going to want to lower it to a little less than the medium not low but a little less because the oil is getting more heated one side is already fried off so you want to lower it because you want that same slow frying process to continue to have the same look on one on the other side now there is something about frying a fish this is not that when you are frying a fish there is, you cannot know there are some fish that are more elderly than some when you the ones that are elderly when you put it inside the hot oil you will see it does something like this in jamaica we say you know it's skin of life that means that fish is an elderly fish and you might not just you just might not enjoy that fish it is a fish that is aged or aging but oh yeah but no sometimes you can know sometimes you can't now there is also i was gonna go i was about to say something okay we'll see you in the other section and i remember what i'm gonna say and i'll let you know so when this fish is properly fried off you'll see from side to side what it looks like okay, the fish is properly fried now and i'm gonna lower my flame a bit i want to say something if you yes what i was what i wanted to say if you are trying to turn the fish and you see it's not turning it's thick leave it it's prop it's it, the thing is it's not properly fried thoroughly maybe a part of it is and another part is still not fried so you leave it because as soon as it as it is properly fried on one side as soon as the lift of the spatula or whatever goes under it it will lift if it is giving you a problem to lift leave it for another minute or so it will lift easily now that the fish is fried right in camera girl look at it you have successfully lifted this fish from the frying pan the pot and let me tell you please use something that is of a thick bottom stick so you're going to remove this fish to your whatever now you will not want to drain this fish directly on a paper towel you need to put it on some uh, um, rock to let it stay there and drain it is a fried fish fried fish crispy fried fish 
I want to show you the other side but it's a bit hot so I want to try to let it cool down a bit and to flip it this was the first side it's fried crispy it's not burnt a crispy fried fish now this fish can lead to brown stew and there's a brown stew fish on the channel you might want to check it out we leave the description in the this we leave in the description the link to that we have got steam fish but we are not on they've got a steam fish up we are not on the mode of steam fish we are on the mode of a crispy fried fish when you start eating this fish it will just crunch it's fried to the core the bones are crispy and it's just probably like bones on the inside all of these parts on the outside they are ready to be eaten crispy now you gotta know how to choose fish for frying okay y'all some fish are not meant for frying there are some fish that has the, the, the type of the nature of the fish allows it to fry and to look like this like snapper i think pink parrot and this is a, a, this is grunt goat fish and all of those type of fish there are certain type of fish like butterfish you don't fry them they weren't meant for frying okay now if you have liked this fried fish video please give it a thumbs up please leave your comments below continue to subscribe thank you thank you so much thank you for your comments that you have been leaving i love you so much they mean a lot and they are they mean the world to me okay y'all so now go get your your fish all fried off and we'll see you when we see you remember debbie from Dongayad, bless no stress